All right, you guys. So let's just see what we have here. Um, this is going to be for Scorpio No Contact Read. I only have seven minutes left. So let's just see what we have real quick. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. For this No Contact Read for Scorpio. I don't want to... All the information is down below. If you guys want a personal, if you want to learn tarot, all that information, just shoot me an email. I do have a special for the month of February for readings. One special, you guys. And yeah, the classes are, when it comes to tarot, is for March, not February. Okay, February is closed. Okay, so let's see what we have because messages are falling out my hands here. For this no contact for Scorpio. And look at that. You're coming out. You're coming out, Scorps. All right. So I'm seeing the temperance here. I'm seeing the hangman. I'm also seeing the tower. Major Arcana. All three. All three cards. Major Arcana. Major shift. Major energy. At least these are in the upright. You know, so a lot of transitions are happening here. This is what I'm seeing here. So very suddenly, very fast paced. Scorpio, Aries energy here, Pisces, and then we have Sag. We also have Gemini energy right here within the Magician and Virgo, for those of you who resonates with that. But I'm seeing a separation. I'm seeing a separation with you and this person. This is a no contact read. They're still looking at you as a two of cups. They're still looking at you as that peer, that perfect peer. It could have worked kind of vibe, but there was a lot of mistreatment, a lot of, you know, overwhelming force of energy, a lot of, you know, turning their back towards you, not giving you that attention and stability that you always wanted. I'm also seeing that divine timing is at play here. So there is going to be another chance for you and this person to get it right if you want to. OK, remember, you have freedom of will to do what you want. The angels can or the universe can create a way for you guys to meet up. But after that, you, you know, you're on your own. Um, I'm definitely seeing Pisces here. So this person is very prideful and very slow and they need some time to register everything. OK, this is what they need. They are not like you that when the information comes about, you know, they're going to jump on it, you know, especially when it comes to their love life or when it comes to a relationship, they need some time to think about it, some time to, you know, reminisce about it before they make a play. So this could take a little bit longer, but I am seeing this person going to, you know, eventually talk to you, right? So let's see. For those of you, I'm hearing excited. I'm excited. <laughs> They're coming back. Mm. All right. So this is a three of swords here, the ace of wands. And then we have the five. This is what you need to work on this five of pentacles, all this conflict and button heads. And, you know, really somebody wants to win the argument. You know, you got to take it back a little bit if you want this to work, because this is a constant vibe. This is still the energy that you and this person have. And this is what breaks your heart a lot with this three of swords and the three of swords energy you guys is still in the upright and i'm seeing a huge force of change that within the ace of wands that is going to come in you know the passion there's a lot of passion when it comes to you and this person so tell me more an attraction too this person misses you misses you i'm seeing in the sun so they look at you as their son they look at you as that happiness they're saying when it's good it's really good but they also you're going on this journey like you're going your own way within the hermit energy and they don't know what's going to happen because they feel like they're losing you and they feel like, you know what, maybe I should let go of Scorpio. But I'm seeing Leo here, Virgo here and Leo again. So Leo is coming out twice within the sun and the strength. OK, we have um, Gemini and Virgo within the magician in reverse, like I said. But with this card, I just feel like there is a lot of negative energy here. There is a lot of jealousy. There's a lot of words that were shed here. This is why also you guys fell into some form of separation. And plus, this person ventured out in the relationship with the seven of cups here as well. There's a lot of competition within the five. 
a lot of competition but i'm also seeing there's going to be a new form of way like this person is still getting some kind of upload or idea how to make this work between you and them the ace of cups is also in reverse here so that's a delay when it comes to in desires and emotional connection and that emotional connection scorpio is something that you can't do without within a relationship you need to feel connected to this person emotionally and i'm seeing like you know what you're you're feeling this drain you're feeling this separation you're feeling this distant you you know that if something is changing like your vent like this person is venturing this way and you're venturing that way and you need to make a decision you need to make a decision to say if you're going to stay or if you're going to go or to change this but i feel like within this energy like there's going to be a new enlightenment or a new way of seeing something and you're going to try it when it comes to your relationship because you're really torn about this you don't want to have to make this why energy you don't want to have to break this bridge you want to do this the right way this is what i'm seeing here tell me more yeah six of cups energy so this is a strong pull between you and this person a lot of you are in a contract energy right now i'm also seeing the seven of swords so you know this person did lie did deceit you did betray you with a friend or their friend someone that they told you were a friend um this could be a family member for those of you that this person betrayed you with um, but the three of cups is someone that you know you could have been friends with or you laid your eyes on um, this could have been a family member, a friend that you don't talk to anymore. This is what I'm seeing here or their friend that you just don't talk to because there's just weirdness there. But I'm seeing like the lies are going to be revealed with that situation, but you're still connected to this person, you know, <laughs> you're still connected. Doesn't matter what this person tries to do. Tell me about this three of cups. Yeah, you know, you never put in any energy towards this person. This person that is a three of cups, you never really put energy in towards of the relationship, the foundation, and they didn't do this. And they did the same too. Tell me more. Yeah, you know, this energy here, they don't like you because you are showing up as a nine of pentacles. You're showing up as like you got yourself together kind of vibe. Yeah, there's like going back and forth here. They're saying that this person is really just messing up and they're overwhelmed as well. I'm also seeing the King of Pentacles, oh, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy for those of you. Okay. But this is what I see for you guys um, with this no contact. I'm going to leave this right here. I hope it resonates. I don't have much time on my phone because I've been throwing out videos all day. So if this does resonate, um, Scorpios, go ahead and like the video and I will see you guys in your next one. Bye guys.